Uh, so I've just picked up some bees. I'm not sure how secure the box is. It's about 20 minutes drive from home. Yeah, I don't think the box is great secure, so I'm gonna keep this on, which isn't ideal, and then we'll get back. Yeah, there's already two bees, and I do not want bees keeping me company while driving, so not ideal, but let's see what happens. Let's get home. A few moments later. Uh, we've made it back. Um, there's definitely a leak in my box, because we started off with two bees in the back, and now there's multiple, so I'm very glad I kept this on. It's quite good, because it's got a uh, good peripheral vision, so that, that, that helps. It still felt a bit weird. So all I'm going to do now is I'll put some, I've, I've got just jeans. This is just a top half. I'm going to put some uh, proper trousers on as well. Uh, get where I'm going to put them prepped, ready to go and put them in. I'll tell you, it's better than any uh, car alarm or car, car alarm or immobilizer. This, I, I certainly won't want to uh, steal this car. And I don't really want to drive it just now in fairness, but, uh, Yes, let's get them all sorted. Uh, I'm going to feed them again because I know where the swarms come from, so they should be quite safe. So we're going to get them prepped, get them ready, put them in, same as yesterday. Just, oh yeah, same as yesterday. I'm also going to put a, um, a queen guard at the bottom, which is basically a mesh, which the queen bee, because she's slightly bigger, can't get through, just because of a swarm, just so basically it's forcing them to stay there so they don't get flighty. They might still be a bit flighty, so that'll just control that. All right, so uh, yeah, how many are can count one two three four five six well there's at least 20 bees flying around in this car now so uh yeah i'm not gonna stay in here so i'm just gonna put a queen guard i'm gonna get the area ready so i've opened the boot of the bees and just a few changes so they're going to be neighbors to my already in situ ones. So, this is a queen guard. So it just means that they can't get through, well, the queen can't get through. So, I'll put that on a cell. We won't leave it there for long, because before too long, the queen will be quite happy where she is. But, so, so we've got a frame just like that, which they can draw out. One which is more already done, so it can fill food in. And it's a dummy board, just to make it a bit smaller. Right, let's go get them. Okay, same again. Now this queen, we going to have a dot on. Let's have a look. Ooh, lovely, hello. Dot bees. They turn us again, they're really lovely. The person I got them from said they were really nice bees. They're actually quite a lot darker than my other one, which is interesting. Right, slight problem, it's not a big issue, but if you see on the ends, they haven't got the spacer, so, so these are much darker bees, these bees, but again, nice natured, I feel okay, in fact, you know what, I'm going to leave that one in, because, no, no, let's do all new ones. Now I'm having all new ones. I'm taking them out. Let's get these in. Now I'm going to get one more. Pull these all in. Alright, I'm going to leave that there because I can't empty it fully. Put this on. With a bit of a wiggle. Good job. Okay, food. Food for bees. They weren't sure about staying. This is hopefully going to encourage them. Again, we don't want to squash them if they can help it. You know what? I, did, I should have used this brush yesterday, mate. It's so much easier. Right, so basically, all we can do again. So let's have a think. We've got Queen should be in there. If she's not, 
So I'll check this box in a little bit. We'll empty it all here. It's on the floor here. It'll come to her. So if she was down here, it'd come to her now. Not clear yet, but well, if the bees, if the queen's in there, that's where they'll go now. And if they're not, then they won't. So, um, and if if they're not, we'll address that when it comes. But fingers crossed, we've got a, uh, two beehives now. So um, they're not actually called um, George the Beehive. That's just my name, just because, um, just so I don't lose them when I when I took them somewhere else. It was easier just to put my name on them. But yeah, I think it's okay. Bit of a bonus, bit of a bonus this one, so let's just see what happens. Fingers crossed. So these are the new bees here. I put a queen guard here. And the reason for that is because they're obviously swarming, so they might be quite flighty. And that makes the queen stay here. So it's just to manipulate early on. And you see how they're sticking their bums up in the air like that. And it looks kind of aggressive, but it's not. That's just sort of saying, where am I? Where are you? It's just saying like, where is everyone? What's going on? So they're just sort of finding each other. So it's just a case now of seeing, um, seeing that they all sort of go here. I've put food in for them. And the concern is, so they're all under here now, now. Is that because the queen's under there, or they're just trying to find where to go? I'm not sure, but we'll monitor it and we'll keep an eye on things. And uh, so hopefully, uh, yeah, extra bonus. Two, two gone from no bis to two bis in a very short space of time. Extra bonus. 